Good morning. This is Jamie out of California. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're doing great. I have some very, very important information to share with you today. I'm going to jump right in here and teach you something that probably only five to 10% of the population even knows about. Okay. And this is, there's four ways to earn income. And this is from the um, cash flow quadrant, four ways to produce income, linear income versus leveraged income and residual income. So we're going to start with what most people know. Most people know about employees. People have a job. A lot of people don't like their jobs. Some people, it's their calling. Maybe they're a heart surgeon. Maybe they deliver babies. You know, um, maybe they love their job. You know, but a lot of people don't love their job. And to them, it stands for just over broke, right? <laughs> so um, the second is self-employed. Someone owns a job, like a real estate agent, like um, like a, someone at a financial brokerage firm. Uh, or at a financial services firm, like um, at a uh, car dealership, like a hair, hair salon, okay? Someone that works in the hair salon, someone that's a salesman at a car dealership, okay? Somebody that is an agent or uh, in, a, in a financial services firm, or they're an agent at a real estate company. They're self-employed. Many people... They keep working as an employee and they go and find something to do for self-employed. One of the ones you think of the most is real estate agents. Lots of people, teachers or real estate agents on the side. And there's another great choice that a lot of people don't think about. And that's, you know, there's a couple financial services firms that allow you to be part-time um, representative with them. Okay. And then there's business owners. Business owner is the broker, the broker, the owner of the financial services firm, the owner of the real estate company, okay, the, um, the owner of the hair salon, the owner of the car lot, okay, they're a business owner and they make 95% of the wealth. When you go to the beach and you see these beautiful homes, you know, they're overlooking the ocean over at Pismo or beautiful beach. Who do you think lives there? It's the business owners and they have 95% of our wealth and they're not just dependent on their self, self-employed. They are business owners. So they have a team of people. They have people who work with them. So it doesn't matter if they're over in Hawaii or they're in Europe or maybe they're sick. Maybe they have a family member they need to take care of. They're business owners. They still have that money coming in. And they also have had financial planners and money managers and people that teach them that while they're making a large amount of income to make sure and invest. And they become investors. Investors is 5% of the population that they have income. Their money works for them. If they have $3 million, $3 million invested, what do they get? They get $300,000 a year. Their money doesn't call in sick. It doesn't complain. It doesn't steal from them. Okay? Your money just works for you. And so a real estate, um, a real estate is a great option for people who want to make some extra money. It's I think 5% of real estate agents actually ever sell a home. Everyone gets a real estate license, but it's very, very competitive. But, you know, they can make that extra money. I had a high school teacher who um, made extra money selling, selling a home, selling homes on the side, my history teacher. But to become a broker, if they become a broker, they were working for a broker. So... Once you become a broker in this business, the drawback is if you work yourself up to broker, you're going to be training other agents. And so often these agents end up going down the street. I was a secretary, an office manager in a real estate uh, 
for a broker here, a real estate company, and two of the best agents got together and they went right down the same exact street on Main Street and they opened the competition. They took the agents with their, 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 you know, they took their market with them, the people they worked with, and they went right down the street and they opened another company and they ended up parting ways, you know, be competing with each other. That wasn't even a good deal. So often you're stuck as an agent, your broker is not going to help you go and help you run a, a brokerage if you're the competition. Um, on the other hand, I know a company, it's a financial services firm, and you can keep your job. You can become self-employed with, self with them. There's multiple streams of income from mortgages to um, uh, mortgage insurance, different types of income protection, which include insuring your mortgage, insuring your life, um, college, you know, the college for your children, it includes all of this and it includes investments. It includes multiple streams of income. And you can stay an employee and be self-employed and you can even be a part-time broker and end up training with the help of the, of the broker, the owner of the owner of the brokerage firm, training a little uh, group of people, a team of people to work with you an agency, I should say, they'll help train your agency so that if you want to become a full-time broker and own your office, you can actually have ownership at one of their offices. That's doable. And once you're an owner, like right now, I have a broker working with me. I'm self-employed. I had a job. At one point, and I found this, and I become self-employed. I actually still have a part-time job, and I'm self-employed. It's it's a, I have a care home, so it's my own business. But you become self-employed, and this broker wants to help you become a broker. You know why? Because you're not um, competition with a broker. Actually, the company pays great bonuses for the brokers to help other brokers open offices. Okay, it's kind of like Starbucks, they're they're competing with each other. What do we have? I think we have four Starbucks here and they're all competing with each other. This company took the gotcha out of that and they're gonna pay bonuses to this broker who helps other people. And so right now I'm in training and I'm in, in position, I'm actually getting um, agents together who can be part-time, they can go full-time, it's at their pace, but um, to be able to become a, a broker owner, business owner. And the great thing is used to be you had to open huge offices. Now you can have a small office, but you can work virtually since COVID. So this company, I used to um, drive all the way to Fresno, San Jose, um, all over the place. And now you can work with people and talk to people. They changed the compliance at this brokerage firm because of COVID. Um, and, you know, it's sad about COVID, but it actually helped open up this company and helps a lot of people and per se in that way. Then there's an investor. You own your own investment. So let's say you have $3 million. You're a business owner, so you're able to put money away. Let's say there's actually a way you can sell your, uh, you can become a, a broker for a while. You meet certain criteria, you help three people open offices and they each make a hundred thousand, you help them make a hundred thousand. You can actually sell. You can actually sell and have, you know, a lot of money. Let's say you have $3 million. That's going to give you, if you invest that and you get 10% rate of return, that's going to give you 3 million, a, $3 million a year. I mean, $300,000 a year, no matter what your money doesn't call in sick. It works for you. It doesn't give you an attitude. It just keeps on working, right? Correct? And um, so I hope this piqued your interest. I'm not going to go in much more, but I'm going to show you. Um, I have a video beneath this. And um, let me move this around. You're going you're gonna to fill out your name, first name, last name, your email address, 
your phone, your state, and introduced by me. Um, you can, um, if this only goes to me, this is going to show me if you've watched it. Okay, then I'm going to reach back out to you and we can invite you to a special meeting that's going to be happening um, tomorrow night. It happens two Tuesdays a month just to get you more information or um, we can introduce you to, we can set up a Zoom and get you more information. Okay, so you want to watch this first. You have to watch this, this first. And at the end, it's going to ask you a few questions. So it's going to ask you at the end. I'll show you what it's going to ask you. Um, path one, learn more about the financial concepts. Create a plan for your own financial freedom. Path two, learn more about the part-time opportunity. Maybe you want to make additional income with a flexible schedule. Or part three, you may want to start part-time. Transition to full-time, possibly, and build a six-figure income. So that's your three three paths. Um, I'm going to show you what you're going to go to. This is where you go. Whoops, I'm going to stop the share. Um, anyway, I'm going to have that informational video beneath. We're looking for the five percenters. Are you a five percenter? We're looking for people that want to make some spare income. Maybe you're motivated enough to make a spare income. Most people need that today. Um, so I'm going to go for now. And if you're on YouTube, look where it says more right beneath the video and you'll see the video, the link. And then if you're on Facebook, you can see it over in my bio. You'll see it over here in my bio. Scroll down and it'll say, follow this. Click on that blue link and it'll give you more information. Anyway, I hope you um, have a great day.